Hello, I'm Julie Cronshaw. I've been teaching Chiquetti Method Classical Ballet in London for more than 25 years. I graduated from the Royal Ballet School Teachers Training Course in 1986 and danced professionally before setting up my own school. I'm a Fellow of the ISTD in the Chiquetti Method and hold the Enrico Chiquetti Diploma. Most recently, I've made a film called Ballet's Secret Code, which is available on this channel. And for more information, content and even more videos, you can go to the website balletsecretcode.com. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's talk a little bit about arabesque. The word is derived from Moorish architecture, the patterns that you find on the tiles and in carvings, for example, at the Alhambra in Granada. And later on in the early 19th century, it came to represent groups of dancers making poses, sometimes linked with garlands. And only later still, did it become the word associated with the pose of the arabesque. We do see poses in pictures. You may also be familiar with the arabesques that you find in interior decoration. For example, those pictures of flowers and vases and strange animals that Raphael painted. Cicchetti names five arabesques, which is different from the more universally accepted four kinds of arabesque. So with the Cicchetti first arabesque, this is the same. This is the same arm forward as the standing leg. The second arabesque in Cicchetti is the opposite arm forwards to the standing leg. And the third arabesque, again, which is the, the one that we know universally, is both arms forwards, um, uh, is both arms both arms forward one arm higher than the other and usually with the eyes looking out over the top hand so those are the first three arabesques these three arabesques are the same as you find everywhere Cicchetti's fourth and fifth arabesque are slightly different the fourth arabesque is done on fondue and it's one arm forwards and one arm back so it doesn't matter whether it's first or second arabesque and whether it's on the quasi or the efface alignment it's one arm forwards and one arm back with the leg on the standing leg on fondue. And the fifth arabesque of Cicchetti is like the third arabesque, but on fondue again. And it can also be with the other leg forward, so you can do it in a quasi alignment, or it can be with both arms in the same alignment, but not necessarily forwards. They could be back, they could be in open fifth. So that's the Cicchetti fifth arabesque. Just a reminder, I've made a film called Ballet Secret Code. It's a one hour documentary available on YouTube on this channel for free. It took a long time to make, I'm very proud of it, and it's all about ballet technique. You can find it on YouTube or click on the link below.